welcome back to my channel and a very good uh, evening to us in this video. So, the potential series number 5, Ramco Industries. Uh, so, my friends who are following uh, us for the past 8 months, you know in June month when we finally spoke about the list of penny stocks, I think if you go and search the highest view of the of our channel, I think that, that video only you can go and see. I said about Ramco Industries, Ramco Systems, Ramco Systems has performed very well. Okay, there are many holding companies in India in listed market, namely Bajaj Holding, Tata Investment Corporation Limited, Mafatlal, uh, Standros Mafatlal Industries. There, there are many companies listed. But what is special in Ramco Industries is that all these holding companies have only one business called their own business that is buying and keeping the shares with them. But for Ramco Industries alone, they have their own business as well as, well as they have the shares in their company. <coughs> now, I am going to share an important detail with you. This calculation I have done my I mean, hard work I have done by me. So, I request my friends who are kindly seeing this video to kindly share this video to your friends. Because I think I could reach you but I could not be able to reach many of those who are uh, just waiting for giving uh, taking an opportunity in the market. So basically, it's Ramco, it's Ramco Industries has earned a lot from 100 rupees to almost gained 100 percentage. But I expect the gain to be furthermore. So before going to the so-called calculation that I given done for you, I just want to make sure. I just want to say one thing. All these further calculations that are done today is going to be a disclaimer clause because the valuations may vary. The valuations can change depending upon the company's idea for the future. As of now, that is the case. And in future also, what could be the major impact? I have calculated that also for you. So in this video, we are going to see it fully. Kindly stay tuned. Okay. So basically, Ramco Industries is a company involving in, I think, uh, the Harper Sheet segments. Uh, so basically, they have their own business. And uh, let us take the market valuation of this their own business. So market valuation is valuing their company at 2000 crore. Okay, as you can see here, uh, I just want to make sure see only one thing for you because I, let me show you the so called result of this company. Okay, so let me go to the annual trend of this company so that we could know how much profit they post in one quarter. So 65 crore. So basically from 30 crore to 60 crore they are posting at the same 50 crores of profit. So they are valuing their company at a, maybe at the premium valuation etc. Now let us take into consideration an important value. Now the main part of this video start. Let us assume the company's original product valuation is just 2000 crore. Okay. Now let us go to this. Ramco Industries unvalued stock. So current market cut of this company right now is almost 2000 crore as you can see here. And uh, one more factor is that if you go and see into their investments column, right? If you can go and see in the investments column, you could get an important idea. So they are holding shares in Ramco systems. They are almost holding 54 lakh shares in the company. So the Ramco systems current market price is around uh, 720 rupees. So this is giving you an enormous valuation as you can see here. So if we can so called add and multiply that we can get a close of amount of valuation. And second thing they are holding shares in Rajapalayam Mills Limited. So they are holding around 1 lakh shares in the company. Per share price is around 737. So it is giving an enormous valuation again. So above all these two investments Ramco Cement Limited. I think people who are living in Tamil Nadu will definitely know about this Ramco group. So they are holding around 4.9 crore shares in uh, Ramco Cement Limited and Ramco Cement Limited per share price is around 852 which you give if you add these three things okay add these three things almost these three quoted market price if you add these three things it is giving you around 4629 crore 65 lakh 63,021 so if you add these three additional value and 2000 crores of the current market capital which is giving you 6,629 crore, 65 lakh, 63,021 rupees. So the total shares listed for Ramco Indus, the total shares, total shares in the market is around 8 crore, 66 lakh, 63,060. So if you divide 6,000 crores by 8 crore shares, it is giving you per share price of 765. So which means understand one thing I want to make sure I say these things. This is only the quoted investments. 
I know people all around this India will know about Link Logistics Limited that uh, uh, people carry or this uh, Tata Ace carry which will carry goods. They are the owners of Link Logistics or they are holding per quantity of shares in Link Logistics. Understand one thing: if Link Logistics is going to get an enormous value in the future, <clears throat> like how Ola and Uber did, it could change the company life forever. And uh, now you can see me. You have just only spoken about the asset point. You are not spoken about this negative point. That's why I'm going to say here. All this calculation I've done here today based on the current market price. Okay. Let us assume one thing. If market suddenly falls, like crash, like anything. So this 6,000 crores uh, per share value, 7,000 rupees are given based on the current market valuation as of today. So 25 percentage of his loss in the market. So 75 percentage of value only remaining in the market, which gives you a share price of around five. I mean, which gives you a share price of around five hundred and seventy-three point seven five. Let us assume market hell like crash like anything. Okay. So 50 percent of value is lost. I mean, the market price is lost. Just only 50 percent is remaining, which gives you around three hundred and eighty-two point five to the market price. Now the current market price is two hundred and thirty-two rupees. Let us take. We are getting only three hundred and eighty-two. Let us not take a another solution. That also, if you got, you are getting a gain value of around 64.51 percentage as of right now. And apart from this, they have some shares in HDFC Limited, HDFC Bank, Indian Bank, and they are their own investments in other mutual funds, etc. I think the debt of this Ramco Industries is very minimal. They could be able to pay the debt because of their earning capability. Almost holding these investments and also doing their own business. That's what make it difference. Now you could ask me, you are you are seeing this kind of potential in the company, but why the hell the share price is not moving? So that is not a cause to worry, but I am seeing it as an opportunity. Let us basically believe for the period of around up to July or August, when I don't believe big crashes could come to the market like Nifty may go to ten thousand or nine thousand. I don't believe that kind of crashes could happen, but it may happen or it may not happen because we are not the god of the market. We are just a Investor or a trader in the market, but what I'm trying to say is that budget is nearing. Okay, the one and only thing which could employ large number of people in the industries is infrastructure industry. So infrastructure needs cement and hardware series or the products that Ramco Group is doing. So I believe that all the things are placed correctly for something. Now understand one thing: what if the share price does not move? Move is said. Let me give you my own personal. Uh, trading uh, example. I was holding JSW Holdings Limited. I like, like I've discussed right Tata Investment Corporation JSW Holdings Limited. I was I was holding JSW Holdings Limited. After buying all the JSW Group's stocks were rising, but the parent company JSW Holdings was not rising at all. I was I got fed up. I I was an investor, but I am not what to say so called uh, got an opportunity to hold it. I think the share price when it exited was two thousand rupees. I think now JSW would be more in the price of around three thousand eight hundred to four thousand rupees, almost a hundred percent gain. Today, when the JSW group stocks are falling, the company is rising. I think that is a patience game that we should have always have for holding companies, and I expect this is going to be a dream dream valuation if if. Ramco Systems. I think one of my favorite picks. I think if you go and check this, I mean, let me itself give you an uh, so-called uh, that video description in the video below because I think if you go and check the Ramco Systems and itself, it was around seventy rupees. You also go and check my YouTube community tab. So I think this is crazy. I think this is really crazy. The valuation this company is getting is going to be very very important. Because I think if these kind of valuations are going to get for this company, Ramco Industries also could go into a greater level. Because when the subsidiary companies are rising, the parent companies are holding in that company should also rise. And this is my basic calculation regarding Ramco Industries. The potential series number five stock. I kindly request my friends who are seeing this video to share this video to your friends and also kindly go to the Ramco Industries annual report. Check what the company is holding. Also, you also compute your own calculation so that you could get an idea whether what I am saying is correct or what I am saying is wrong. Because I think I found an opportunity. I just want to share with you. I want my friends to share with their friends so that they also get an opportunity. Thank you, friends, and bye.